What's up guys? This is the Braveman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War. Let's play as Great Britain. So to pick up where we left off, the Russians, the dastardly Russians, have declared war on us. We have decided to push and attack the city of the Algarve. However, they are actually sallying. So we are going to have to withstand this cavalry onslaught. So, let's take them out. So the idea would be to uh, withstand this charge. Or to withstand this sally, Garrison Yalgarva to the point where they become okay with us being there. And then push on towards St. Petersburg slash Moscow. I think that will be quite a good way of doing it. Okay, lots of flat terrain. So let's step back away from the woods. Let's fill, let's fill the centre of our position with line. What's that? The artillery is units deployed. Deploy you guys. Let's group the first and second Royal Welsh together. We can put a unit of Oh, I've picked a bunch of people by mistake. Drop a militia unit out here as well. Then on the other flank, it's going to be grenadiers and militia. So let's give the militia some clansmen support. Drop some cavalry on either flank. General. You're going to have to get involved as well. Okay, so my gun's over here. You guys need to pound... There are... There, cav there are... Cavalry. You guys need to pound the cavalry that's close to you. Yeah, the bulk of the threat comes from this enormous amount of cavalry they've got on the field. That's why the militia gets the uh, the militia gets the clansmen support. Just moving. Although it looks like that did make them change position. Even though they're not in range of canister, I'm assuming they will get into range. It's a large concentration of enemy cavalry. So you men form square. Too bad about the sound again. It was been it's worked the entire like recording session prior to this. I did um, a couple of Ottoman parts. So the line infantry will be enough to chase the uh, enemy away. get the cavalry into the mix. You guys charge the guerrilla mercenaries, you men hit those guys. Drop you guys into square. 
You men hit the Dragoons. You guys charge in. Understandably, the Grenadiers have routed. Understandably, these guys, not the Grenadiers, the artillery have routed. Push you guys up. Let's keep you running away from the enemy there. Right now, the focus has to be on now meeting the infantry in battle. Fortunately, in a lot of these cases, the infantry are being pushed back. Or well, the cavalry are being pushed back. And they need to get pushed back quickly in order to allow us to form or reform our line. So let's ignore the Cossacks and charge them into the Militia. These Hussars are likely going to rout. You guys are picking off those Grenadiers, that's good stuff. Actually I might pivot you guys to fire into their flank as well. I want to hit the Militia because I don't want them to be... I don't want my, my infantry to be tied up fighting uh, militia. Any time I get is good, although I'm probably going to lose my cavalry due to the due to the uh, existence of enemy troops firing into the combat. Can you guys fight the militia? You men pivot. Militia aren't even firing. My mistake. Fire! Get the Highlander Warband over here. Get this Grenadier Regiment over here. So the objective of my general wasn't to kill those guys, it was to go run down the artillery. Keep a unit of militia ch chasing down the, the uh, chasing down the enemy general. The line infantry unit should be picking apart that regiment of horse. Those grenadiers are broken, so you guys about face. Deploy the clansmen. Fear not, 39th regiment. The Scots are here. Okay, there we go. Now you guys form up. These men form up to fire into the rear there. They're charging someone. This regiment of militia. Um, yeah, chase those artillery down. Some dragoons came back. Both my militia units attack the general. The grenadiers actually would be quite a good one to kill. One last crewman of the artillery. He's going to get run down. Let's get you back over here. I mean, the militia might sound like a bit of a weird one to target because they are just guys with um, like big axes. But what they do... What they do is they tie your men up fighting in melee combat when it would be most useful have them 
well, sometimes you don't want them to gain, uh, to get close. Present. Come on. Fight the enemy. Kill the general. Getting picked apart by a union of militia. Push the line up. These grenadiers have taken a right hammering. There goes the enemy general. Spread, spread our line out. I mean, you have artillery, but does that... You have crewed your guns, but it's not the same as you actually firing. No, at least you guys did run when I told you to. Although... The end is nigh soon. There go the Russians. So we do need to un you do need a period of rest and replenishment. Let's speed up time, and we're going to continue because the garrison still does exist. I'm on three grenadiers. I don't know where the others are. <coughs> okay, come in and charge the Cossacks. Stop the artillery. Can you come over here and now start to fight Cossack infantry? There we go. This unit's a bit more closer together, so you can... You're more likely to do more damage to them. The more spread out a unit is, the more... It feels like the more of a dice roll it is as to whether or not the logic will work and you can actually eradicate the unit. Come on. Just got to keep right clicking, keep refreshing the logic, and that seems to work. So, my focus on the, this general unit first, because he's doing a really good job at cleaning out this regiment of foot. The 19th has been stricken from the record. Killed to a man. They are going to rout. So let's bring you over here. So a handful of Cossacks left. Five, four, come on. Three, two, one, done. Hoorah! Hoorah! So that's a bit of a dodgy win for us. But I'll take it. I wonder if I do need to check. They demand an alliance and selective breeding. They offer wedge, cadence marching, and also an alliance. That's pretty good. Cadence marching gets us a new unit. Wedge formation is a tech I don't have. I'm okay with giving them a selective breeding. Good. Excellent, Mughal Empire. They're already at war with the Marathas, so that shouldn't, that shouldn't be something we have to worry about. Here comes the Georgian Navy. Okay, so national debt researched. Good. New Haven. You can start research on improved grape shot. Modern universities built, so they are going to be great when it comes to uh, research power. Okay, good. There's the H. Okay, right. First of all, if we just delete vulnerable, because they count it as recruiting a HMS Victory unit. There you go. If I delete the name, it just becomes HMS Victory. In which case, then. 
orders, Captain. Okay, let's keep victory Underway. safe. Let's take this big navy and go fight Sea. that Russian army. Our, our little squadron inside uh, inside Greenwich is away. coming into battle. So let's clear out that Russian fleet, get back to Portsmouth. Under your repairs. Play, uh, Portsmouth go, uh, victory go over. We've got to Belfast. Let's take this fifth rate, St Albans, and get them over to join the Greenwich squadron, which is, that looks like, that's where most of our ships that got killed came from. So HMS Victory, let's recruit our Admiral to the Victory. Justin Seymour. Can't really build anything there. You're building another first rate ship of the line, so let's build two more. One will fill out this fleet, and then another two more will go over to join uh, Victory. Let's build an Iron Master's Works. Let's hop over here. Set you guys to replenish. You guys can stay what stay stay where you are. Let's get some of the get some of these hussars up over to Riga, ready to push forward. Yeah, we need to spend some money down here in French Guyana. Help keep my troops strong. That force destroyed that Russian force that landed down south. This force is now strong enough to go hit Santa Fe. So just march around the Pueblo nations. I might end up, I will probably end up fighting the Pueblo nations. Protector of Dagestan, let's do it. We'll def definitely do that. But if I take Santa Fe, I can march down and take Texas quickly. You're still recruiting troops. So we do have we have one unit request. It's called uh, from Chili Knight saying to call it Rifleman's Royal Brigade. He actually gave me the choice of what to uh, what to recruit and what to call that, which is pretty awesome. So I'm tempted to use. I, what do I get for recruit building the army board? Royal British Grenadier Guards if I research new model bayonet drill. That's pretty awesome. Wolfman Scout if I get percussion cap. To be honest, there's a lot of stuff I can do. I mean, it's tempting to call to call my Wolfman it, but that's quite far away. So if I wait for new model bayonet drill, I'll recruit a unit of Grenadiers and call it that, because this is the army I'm raising to try and fight. The Spaniards with their very elite troops that look like they're probably going to be depleted. Okay, let's check. First of all, let's actually check. Lists, regions, profit. <laughs> so obviously London is bringing in the money. Konigsberg would be, it would be a big blow if I lost that. Dutch Guyana still... Well, it'll, it'll, Dutch Guyana will explode in... in Income potential. Let's see. The Prussians are pushing in because they are now at war with the with the Russians as well. So they might cause a slight problem. They demand Trinidad and Tobago. Okay, for Lombardy. Why would I want Lombardy? It's an isolated territory that would give me no benefit. Grape shot is not enough. No. At least my little territory in the Caribbean provides resources for the trade market. But yes. The Russians have... Well, as you can see, they are deploying more troops westward because they can't afford to ignore that front anymore since our Prussian brothers have joined us in the war.
So if I could take St. Petersburg, that would be useful, because then at least both the east and western flanks of my territories are held securely. So if I can take Courland, these guys can push up and take St. Petersburg. Then I've got Vilnius, St. Petersburg, and Koningsberg as my outer protection screen. First of all, first ship of the line from Britain. Hurrah! So you men blockade that Spanish force there. This small fleet go and raid Brest to keep them occupied. Then go raid Porto. Could probably raid south even further than that, but let's not worry about that for now. Louisbourg has grown, so you can become a trade port as well, because you have a shipyard down south. So let's build a fifth rate to grow, to to be produced while this upgrades. Um, okay, more produce and upgrade the port at Pensacola to make sure we can, up, we can actually export these goods. So my upgrading strategy is rather scattergun at the moment, but that's chiefly because well, we've got so much stuff to upgrade. So let's go over up to Cobbled Roads at least. Let's get you upgraded to a fur trader. You're all both up to Cobbled Roads. Pretty much we've got so much capacity to uh, to recruit, to, to spend on our economy. I'm reluctant to do anything else. It's so tempting to just blow all my money on upgrading farms and ports because they, they, in no way is that a bad thing to upgrade those things. Let's buy, buy a Royal Welch Fusiliers, which is a special unit I can only get one of. Let's get two units of howitzers as well, just to keep the recruitment going here. Wouldn't be crazy of me to then upgrade London to Metal Roads and Edinburgh to Metal Roads because we are... Actually, no, let's not do Edinburgh. Okay, if I upgrade these guys to Palatial Estates, then at least they are done. They are max upgraded. I've got a thousand left. Okay, we need to upgrade some roads in these regions. Okay, let's upgrade you to a... No, let's not upgrade you. Let's upgrade or reinforce this army a little bit more. And how goes the replenishment here? Because I want to keep, keep these guys replenishing because they did take a bit of a hammering from those chaps. One more turn should do it. Let's hit end turn. God, the Prussians are churning out lots of men. But that's what they can do because they have no concerns, no issues except those in. Oh, I don't. I do not like it when the AI crosses my territory, and they have no other real places to uh, deploy their troops apart from Central Europe. So they can get away with having lots of men here. The Prussians are welcome to take Moscow. I want to... I chiefly want St. Petersburg. That's what I would like. Improved Grape Shot. See, I was about to research Improved Grape Shot myself. Should really have put that together. Great Jude to Classical University. We're about to get a new model bayonet drill. Ordnance Factory in Vilnius. I, do, I really don't like it when they cross my territory, but I presume it's a pathfinding thing. Okay, you're f at full strength, so we are going to attack Courland. I'm not going to invest over there in Europe yet. Not when I have absolutely bucket loads of relatively safe investments across the Atlantic. Like, all of this stuff we can upgrade without worrying 
about whether or not someone's going to raid it. So it's very scattergun, just because I want to share the love and share the the growth around. Because these farm upgrades are quite cheap as well, so that's quite a lot of good upgrades to get. Actually, no, let's go back down to here. There we go. I didn't add any more ships to my recruitment queue. Formidable and venerable. Go up and join victory. So these guys at the very least are stopping the Spanish from rapidly deploying this force uh, across the channel. So next turn we can recruit that unit. Let's do that. Lots of trait traits gained but no extra no extra uh, actual agents recruited you're on your way to santa fe united provinces look like they've tried to rebel against the french yes that's right march past us don't go for st petersburg that's what i want it looks like i might have to march up there as well with my force from Riga. Oh, I did mean to attack Corland. Okay, I'll do the attack on Corland as the second thing I do this turn. Even though we're fairly close to the end of the episode, A, it will be quick, and B, I did tell you guys I was going to do it. <laughs> All right, then. <laughs> we'll defend. <laughs> we will defend um, Sally from the garrison. Excellent. And in the back of my mind, I do want to prepare for the day that the Prussians declare on me that will happen sooner or later they will cancel our alliance and that vast quantity of troops you can see pushing across the continent will be turned against me okay artillery behind the line our great army of troops form a mighty line in front behind anti-cavalry defenses Not entirely bothered about deployment of the cavalry. That's right, you men just open up. Because so many of these units are depleted. So where's the shot? Where are the shots going to land? General's bodyguard, that's who they're aiming at. Sorry, General, you've got an artillery piece. You've got a big uh, lump of lead aiming for your head. And how do they teach the horses to jump in slow motion like that? I know these militia are not efficiently laid out at all. The idea is if they're charged by cavalry, they will die on the spikes, and the firepower itself doesn't really matter. This is the first and the second Royal Welsh have been reconstituted. Well, they've been reborn. The original units were destroyed. They do look pretty nice, like the epaulets. So the clansmen look pretty cool. I like how this guy's got his pike. Nice. I mean, if they're not gonna, if they're not gonna come to me, I'm gonna go to them. So yeah, friendly spikes do not impact your cavalry. You could run them through those for days. It might look like things are about to go wrong because they will butt up against it, but they do alley up over somehow it's the new you and you push up into the tree line 
I mean, it's like their men just want to die on the battlefield without actually trying to fight. Yeah, 13th of fired. There goes the regiment of horse. Some of the cavalry in the woods. But they can see redcoats coming in. God, that's really close. Even for a musket. Well, this guy's alright. Ah, they twigged. Something's up. Who are they charging? They love an easy target. Are they going to go after the militia? Well, the first Royal Welsh have nothing to shoot at, so they get an excellent profile shot against those cavalrymen. Brave souls. Hey, the general's bodyguard actually charged. Let's see how well you do. And these hussars. There's only a handful of hussars. But in the trees, the infantry have the advantage. These are garrison militia and they're fetching green coats. These guys might be killing some of their own men. Well, doesn't matter. Those hussars will... Oh, go on, then. The 7th Regiment haven't had a chance to kill anything yet. Actually, no, don't charge into that, because... That's what the militia are going to open up. On. Yes, they are. Poor souls, they were just too high strung. But there we go. Wasn't much of a battle, really, but there we are. Excellent. The city is ours. The Russians are starting a bit of a counter offensive against the Prussians. Good. The more they fight each other, the more territory I can accumulate, and the more I can grow my economy. New model bayonet drill. Good. Let's recruit. Royal British Grenadier Guards. I can only have eight. So let's recruit two of them, and I'm going to recruit, call them, one of them, uh, Rifleman's Loyal Brigade. Let's get a general, because his force doesn't have a general. Two units of heavy cavalry and a regiment of horse. On to Portsmouth. Let's get two second rates. Nation destroyed. Uh-oh. The Mughal Empire. That's not good. Corland, they really don't like us. What if we exempt you from tax? You like us a bit more. I mean, if I send over one unit of line, that's not going to tip the balance, is it? No, but probably building the, uh, repairing the, repairing the, uh, I've forgotten the word for it now. The Royal Palace will help. Church school. Orthodox? Nope. I'm going to build a church school to get that sweet, sweet religious happiness. Build a great arsenal. Let's build some line infantry guards in Europe. We've got a mighty $4,000. Spend elsewhere. Such as roads. Let's upgrade the governor's residence. Upgrade another governor's residence. So Fort Nashrak is converted. Let's make sure... Falmouth are 100% converted, which they are. What about Boston? What they are. I mean, we've got some 
Catholic priests wandering around here, which is a bit frustrating. So you go back over to Montreal. You go down to Georgia and start to convert the Deep South. Recruit another fifth rate here in the Caribbean. You guys can spend some time replenishing. You guys are replenishing. Okay, so... Riga, how goes it if I do this? Yes, my lord. You can handle it. Okay, let's push north. I'm counting on these guys being depleted, as in as <laughs> to really do us a favour. I mean, these guys are pretty depleted. Ready for and I might, as I recruit those light infantry guards, push them north. Oh, I don't want to waste you don't want you to waste time on diamond formation. Go straight for reorganized procurement. Increases upkeep, but it's necessary to get access to the later techs and the later units. But looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So thanks for watching guys. Hope you've enjoyed. And I'll see you next time for the continuing adventures of the British Empire. Cheers everyone.